Appreciate you all checking in. Appreciate you all checking in. Great show again tonight. Appreciate you all checking in. B Ford, my man. See you up there. Coach Will here. Appreciate you all checking in. Get hydrated a little bit. Got a great show for you tonight. Uh, talk about a couple of things before we get started. So before we get started tonight, uh, let's see, we want to talk about a couple of things. One, one, before we get started, see you all checking in. Boy, we get a, got a live show tonight. A lot of people checking in already. Appreciate you all checking in. Jada, get buckets. I see you. I see you all. Katrina Schultz, I see you all checking in. Uh, before we get started, before we get started tonight, let me first tell you, we have some big news coming this week. Uh, I'm excited about it. I know you all have been waiting to see what we got going on and when we're going to uh, get it all popping and when we're going to get back into full swing. And, you know, as many of you know, I've been traveling the country the last uh, couple of months myself and looking at everybody else and how they do things. And it's about time for us to get ours back going. Uh, we do have our first, uh, first, uh, you know, uh, big event coming up pretty soon here next weekend, actually in, uh, in, uh, let's see, we're in Richmond next weekend. We're in Richmond. Next. While I'm talking about Richmond, man, let me tell you, uh, that one has really taken off. Like, man, that one has really taken off. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the flyer, but that particular event has taken off. Um, we have a full slate. It's almost full. It's filling up every day. We have kids registering. We really weren't, you know, expecting that many kids to register uh for our first comeback we thought we'd get a little small taste in the water but it has blossomed and actually we had to change venues from where we was uh just to accommodate all the kids that are coming in from all over i think we're up to five or six states now and so we're looking forward uh to that that's going to be it's going to be huge for us uh i'm really looking forward to that so if you have not registered yet, we still have spots left. We're doing the girls' sessions in the morning. This is Sunday, October 4th. And we're doing the boys' sessions in the afternoon. And you can register at GetMeRecruited.com for that. That's going to be huge. As you see, I'm sure if you're following us on social media, you see how we're posting over and over. All these people are coming. That's because we have so many coming in tonight. Um, do have one other news before I move on uh, about tonight's show. Tonight, we have these three prospects. But before I tell you, uh, Tremaine Parker will not be here. There was uh, a family emergency. Uh, I'll let him tell if he know you. But something came up and he could not be here. Um, we're looking forward to it. We're going to reschedule with him. But I... You know, he's got to handle some things and he's got my blessing. Family first. Make sure you take care of your family first. I'm big on that. All right. So we'll be here. We're not going anywhere. We're here every week. And uh, when he comes back, we'll be ready for him. All right. In fact, uh, I'll try to squeeze him in next week. I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, we've been kind of full lately uh, with prospects. So I'll try to get him in next week. I told him I'd do my best to try to get him in in next week. Also, um, in today's show, we have uh, Keon McCoy, uh, one of my favorite young men that's been around for a long time, watched him grow up, a uh, real good kid. Uh, he'll talk about his path and on his way to where he's headed now that he's at Guilford Tech and went the JUCO route. And of course, everyone knows Lil Mama will be in the building tonight. Uh, uh, no worries, Trey. Take take care of your uh, your family, my brother. We are all about family here. Um, 
you take care of your family is like taking care of ours because we are family. So family first, take care of that. We'll reschedule and uh, no biggie, all right? What's the youngest age group in Richmond next week? Uh, we will have uh, middle school all the way up to high school. So, uh, so yes, uh, any, any middle school or, or boys or girls, middle school to high school. So, um, like I said, we do have, uh, uh, you know, some slots open and uh, I'm pretty sure it looks like we may fill up this week. Uh, again, and that's what by opening up a second court. I didn't, I wasn't expecting that. So, uh, yes, you're in eighth grade. You can play in the showcase next week. Um, sixth through eighth grade for middle school. Uh, if you're a fifth grader, we have to check you out. Now you you want to hang with the big, the big, the big kids. Um, we'll have to talk about that. But ninth through twelfth grade will be uh, in the. Uh, in, in another session as well. So boys and girls will be separated and then middle school and high school will be separated. And all of that is going, my man, go to getmerecruited.com and you'll see all the answers to your questions uh, because we have to move on here. Another thing I want to mention real quick before we do move on, that we do have my guy, Percy Wright. Percy Wright will be in the building Thursday my dude over with Lady Baller Insider out of Charlotte, a good friend of mine. He will be here Thursday, handles the girl side as well. Uh, he and I are two people in the same industry that not only do we get along, but we're good friends. So uh, I look forward to having him in the, in the building next week. I mean, Thursday, Thursday, he will be here as well. So tonight, it's all about these two right here. We're going to bring in my man, Keon McCoy, first. All right, everybody, y'all ready for my man, Keon? Let's bring in Keon. Let me get my coffee going. We're going to get it started here. You see me? Uh, how you doing, my brother? I'm doing good. You're doing good. Doing good. What you been up to? Uh, day I had a workout. Just got out the shower. Just started some work. Okay, okay. You say you got a workout. What you been working out at? Where you been working? At school? Mm, yeah, we've been doing a couple workouts every week. We got canceled last week. It was something going on, on campus. But yeah, we've been working out before um, doing all this COVID stuff. Yeah, yeah. How long are your workouts? Usually two hours. Oh wow! With See a that. mask on. With a mask on, it's horrible. Oh, y'all doing it with the mask on? Mm-hmm. Can you breathe in those? Like, <laughs> it's hard. I can't even explain it. Really? Mm hmm Man, so are y'all gonna have to play with uh with the with the mask on? Is that what they said? Um, I don't think so. You don't think so? No. Just, oh, okay. Okay. So what are you working on in your workouts? What what are you trying to accomplish when you work out? Just <laughs> to be a better shooter and be a, a better leader. Oh, you, what you trying to tell everybody that the, 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 the jump shot is broke? <laughs> it's not broke. It's not broke. <laughs> <laughs> it's not broke. Mm -mm. It's just not wet. Yeah, it's, it's a little. Not wet. <laughs> it, it's, 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 it's sprinkled a little bit. It's sprinkled yeah, it's, it's a little, a little bit. Sprinkled, I, I, a little sprinkled. I got you. I got you. Yeah, I got you. That means y'all that you can't shoot. But all right, so uh, <laughs> Keon, my man, you, you know how we get down. So. Keon, yeah. um, before we get started, won't you tell everybody who you are? Um, Keon McCoy. I'm a 5'11 point guard. that goes to Guilford Tech in Jamestown, North Carolina. I went to Sanders High School. graduated this past year. Okay. Tell them, how, how did your career go at Sanders? It went, I say rocky, but a little bit smooth. You know, I played two years at JB. Got moved up after playoffs. I mean, before playoffs, before my junior year. Then my junior year, I had a little setback. Then I played in the second half of the season. The senior year was a good season. All right, we're not going to go over. We're not going to just skip over that setback. Let's talk about the setback. So setback. There's, somebody, there's somebody on this live that's going to have that same setback. So we're going to talk. Do you understand? Uh, right? Now, hold on, hold on. I want everybody on the line already know, but let me let you know because mm -hmm. I, I see you on here sometimes. You know, we don't let you off the hot seat, and we just, we just let it slide by and, 
and, and, and we're going to have a dry conversation. No, we're going to talk real here. So yeah. tell them what the setback was. Setback was my sophomore year. I wasn't motivated to keep my grades up, so I slacked. You know, I had failed two classes, and then I had we did summer workouts. I worked out all summer. I'm thinking, okay, I'm good. Junior year comes around November before our official tryouts. Mm -hmm. Coach took, pulled me to the side before I work out. I was like, yo, you're ineligible. Like, we can't mm -hmm. do nothing. Mm -hmm. so I, it set me back, like, mentally. Mm -hmm. And after a couple weeks go past, he tells me, like, you could play after season if you fix your grades back up and get that credit back, and get that credit back. So I did it. I was motivated mm -hmm. to do it, got it back. I was a little, I played the manager role, really, during the first half. Mm -hmm. I was always around. So then when January hits, I start playing. Everything mm -hmm. back clicking and all that. Mm -hmm. Now, now you, you said something that, that I like to hear, you know, student athletes talk about. You said it, it messed with you mentally because mm -hmm. people, people try, try to avoid how athletes go through all these ups and downs and mental situations. How did it affect you mentally? It affected me mentally like I cried a lot. Mm -hmm. It hurt. It hurt me because I was like, "Dang, I'm like, what I'm gonna do after this?" So then, I was like, distanced from a lot of people. I didn't talk to a lot of people. I was angry at myself. Then I looked at the brighter side and was like, "I gotta get this right." Right. And then right. I, I stayed out of trouble. Like, I never been in trouble in school, but like I, I distanced myself from all the people I used to be messing around with a lot. And then I got my grades back, and then my coach noticed like I really changed. Right. Right. No, I, I really want you to see, you know, I knew I already knew what it was, but mm -hmm. I want I want you to share that story because somebody out there is going to follow the same path you went through. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's one thing for us to constantly talk about, you know, keeping your grades up or how mental health will affect you, you know, or, you know, there'll be times you're sad and you might cry. They don't talk. They won't listen to us as much as they'll listen to you. And mm -hmm. they'll be like, wow, he went through the same thing I'm going through. Maybe, you know, it ain't so bad. Maybe I can come back and, and you know, play college ball like he do, right? Mm -hmm. So so, so it's important. I I'm, I'm appreciate you uh, making that point. Now, for somebody that does not know Keon, like I know Keon, right? Uh -huh. I want you to describe yourself. Don't be shy. Now, tell them who you are. Tell them who Keon McCoy is. I'm a goofy. <laughs> I'm a goofy dude. I like to have fun. Right. I get serious when the time comes. And I'm just a real welcoming person. Like, I like everybody. I like being around everybody, different types of people. I'm a real vocal person when I'm around the right people. And I know when things should not happen and when things should happen. Mm. I'm a smart kid. I know I know what's up. You know right from wrong. Right? You know, so I was raised yeah. that way. Raised yeah. that way. I know. You know, I know. I've been knowing your mama. We from the same, grew up in the same area. So I've been knowing you since you were born. Mm -hmm. You know, people don't even realize I've been knowing you, so I know you were raised right. I know you know better, right? Mm -hmm. Now, now, who would you say in your life you probably the closest to? Family wise or like friend wise? Whatever, either one. My mother. Yeah. Well, tell me about that. It's like, man, I might get personal up here, but like growing up without a father is hard. So like, you looking at your mom like she's a father figure. So. I be behind my mom 24-7. Like, if you see me, I, you see her. Or if you see her, you see me. So that's my, her and my whole family is my motivation of what I, things I've been doing. Mm -hmm. So to let her down is like, that's not good for me. Mm. Yeah. But that's what motivates me. And, and again, um, just to hear you say that, there are a lot of kids out there that are, you know, single, single, uh, you know, parent homes, and they need to hear it's not the end of the world. You're you're not unlucky. Everything that happens in your life was meant to happen in your life. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And and you know maybe it it was for extra motivation or whatever you needed to be successful. But uh, everything is on purpose, even yeah. with the things that seem like they're mistakes. <laughs> uh, you know. So when you were growing up. Who was your most competitive person? Who you battle with? Kids in the neighborhood? Who you? Who you? Kids in the neighborhood. The person I would say is probably Kamon Green. I think you you know that you know that name. The relative of that name. 
Mm -hmm. I grew up with him, him and Jalen McDonald. I grew up with both of them playing in Green Road, competitive all the time. It's still to this day, so we all competitive. Really? Mm-hmm. So, 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 so Jalen been dunking on you a long time? Nah, Jalen... <laughs> Jalen was not Jalen was not doing that until I would say I seen that person like his eighth grade year. Really? Yeah. Okay. He was just more like a, a shy shooting people like person like he was just I'll get picked up last and all that. Right. He was the youngest dude. He was the youngest dude out there. So we was like he like sixth grade, like we're not about to pick him up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I, I, it's, I'm interested to hear uh, Jalen's side of that story. <laughs> yeah, he, he gonna say a whole different story. <laughs> right now, now you uh, you've been coming to our events for for quite a while. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, you know, since you was a little young boy, that little young oh, boy. Oh, you just took the picture. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, look at the little fella. I think the jersey was too big for you, man. It was. It was. It was. <laughs> but. You know, you, you've been coming quite a while, man. And, you know, uh, you, you've always done well. You've actually uh, been the Mikey Maddox Award winner. And uh, we take that highly for the playmakers and so forth. But uh, how do you think going to those type of camps helped you, uh, you know, become the player you are? It helped me change my perspective of being competitive with people. Instead of playing with local people in my neighborhood or, like, other neighborhoods, it me to a level where people across the country came to Raleigh and play and compete. So I'm like, okay, I gotta cook it. I gotta cook it up a notch. I gotta get. I gotta get bigger. Cause I was skinny my first time I came. I was, well, I'd probably say like one thirty. Yeah, 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 like I, I was a little guy. Little yeah, guy. I was a little guy, and I wasn't, I wasn't vocal as much. So I changed since then, and I went to the um, the Super Sixty, and I was. You can tell I was a whole different player from when the first time you seen me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can tell you, you got a little stronger. You know, I think your head a little bigger, you know, so. <laughs> but you uh, you came you came in and took care of business then, right? Mm -hmm. uh, no, those were, some, those were some good games. Now, did you ever get dunked? Wait a minute, I'm trying to think. Did you get dunked on at the Super 60? Nope. <laughs> nope. No, no, you didn't get dunked on? Mm -hmm. no. I witnessed some, though. Huh? I witnessed some. You witnessed? Mm -hmm. <laughs> But they ain't catch you. No, nah, they ain't catch me. All right. Now, I'll bring you back for another show if I happen to pull up that footage of you getting dunked out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now, who was your uh, who was your best competition out there? Who, who you battle with out there? Jalen McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> really? When we played his team, I guarded him most of the game. Really? Yeah, and he was, he was a challenge because he's so bouncy. Like, he can jump from a far range, so, like, once you get in the paint, like six feet in, it's dope. It's yeah. just there. Yeah. So it was yeah. hard. I'm like, bro, you got a double team with me or something. Like, <laughs> you got, he, he was still getting dunks. You can see right. from the video. <laughs> right, right. So, but nah, yeah, yo, you from the neighborhood. you like, no, you ain't, you ain't dunking on me, exactly though. Exactly. Nah. Like, yeah, you, you're not doing that. No, we're not doing that, son. Nah. <laughs> but you know, one, one thing uh, I really liked about you is that you came back and you became one of our mentors like you know you came back and gave back to those young men um you know what what they look up to you know when y'all get older those kids look up to y'all you know and and you you were out there coaching it up and 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 <laughs> you, know, you, you, you you was in it i mean mm -hmm. you was in it i think your team did pretty good yeah huh? yeah okay. yeah so you was really in it like you really was coaching yeah because how fun was that for you, and what, why was it important for you to come back and help those kids? It was fun because the coaches, we like all the coaches that was around me, we all know each other. And we're all competitive, so I'm like, my team about to beat you. We're like, nah, 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 we ain't about to lose. So, like, each game we taught each other, you know, talk smack and all that about who was going to eat and all that. But, yeah, it was fun because, like, if I was in his position, the kid's position, I would want the same thing. A kid from the event recently coming to coach me of how it's going to be, how the experience was. Yeah. That's exactly how I did with them. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's funny because there's some kids on here right now or that will look at you where you are, and they'll be like, man, that was my coach. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you, you know, that's pretty That's pretty cool, man. And, you know, I even think back. I don't remember who was your, was your coach. Do you remember who your coach was uh, when you came through? No. 
I don't either. I don't, I don't know. know. I'm going to have to go back and look at it. That was some years ago. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, it was some years ago. But I'm going to have to go back and look at it. But but it's good that because it teaches y'all also the responsibility of being a coach. And mm -hmm. what, you know, because y'all had to take them to lunch. Y'all yeah. had Y'all had to make sure they went to the workshop. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You had to make sure they was in place. And now you get to see how coaches have to deal with y'all on a regular basis and y'all get on their nerve. You know what I mean? Uh, now, now you did decide you decide to go JUCO, right? Yeah. What you made you bring up the tape? Oh yeah, man. You, hey, I told you, I got, I got yeah. it. Now. I got it. I got it. I don't come on this show slacking. Now I do what I do. <laughs> Yeah, so so what made you decide you wanted to go Juco? Mm, my remember like I said with that setback, mm -hmm. my GPA went down. So mm -hmm. like then you know the SAT GPA was a big it's still a big factor. So like yeah. I looked at that like, okay, it's low. It's that it's still at a decent level. But like mm -hmm. I need to get to a point where I gotta decide like, yeah, I'm not gonna go D one. I gotta mm -hmm. get in that mindset, like you gotta think Going low, going JUCO is not bad. You see, you see a lot of players still going to the league or like going to high colleges because of that. Yeah. Yep. JUCO route will help me get my academic back up, make me get a little little glimpse of how college would be at a different level. Yep. And yeah, that's how it was. People underestimate how strong those kids could be at JUCO now. Yes. You, you know, it's big. It's a big difference from high school. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, what what made you decide on Guilford Tech? Um, okay. Before my senior year, I picked up an offer from Vance Granville Community College. And then I kept with that throughout the whole season. And then it was COVID stuff hit. And then Vance cancels their season. So I'm like, yeah, that's not an option anymore. I had interest from Fayetteville Tech, but then they we cut ties. And then Central Carolina Community College offered me and I talked to them. But they weren't really pursuing me. Like, they didn't want it. He was acting like, okay, I'll talk to you one day and talk to you a good month later. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, if you want me to come play with you, I have to feel like you want me to be there. Mm -hmm. So we stopped talking. Then Good for Tech comes. He texts me. He texts me every day. And so mm -hmm. I commit. He texts me every day, checked on Bone Me, told me updates from COVID of how the season would be or workouts would be. And I felt like he wanted me and felt like a family. So I was like, okay. And then this is the decision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, now, it's some, I, I like how you talked about, you know, you really, sh I tell parents and kids this all the time, think, you know, you want to go where they want you, you know what I mean? Um, you know, um, just, you know, make sure that they want you. Yeah, I see, hey, Yoko, we see you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see, I see Elijah Jameson checking in too, talking, My, matter of fact, Elijah, you, we're going to get you on the next show. I've been meaning to call him as well. I'm going to get Elijah on here. So next time, Keon, you can get on here and talk about him when I bring up his footage. How about that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how you liking it at Guilford Tech so far? Um, It's easy. Class has been easy because we have, we have a different way of learning because it's COVID stuff. So I had one in-person class, but now I've got to change to online. So everything's online, really, and I do it on my own time. And that's, mm -hmm. I think that's how it should be because a lot of students don't like being forced to do stuff at some time instead of doing it on their own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what I've been doing. And that's probably what I'm going to do after I get off this, go do some work, and go to sleep. Well, I like, I like that you're uh, putting that work in as well. You know, mm -hmm. um, in college, it's even harder to be more disciplined because you ain't got a parent home telling you what to do. You can do what you want to do. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And so you got to be even more disciplined, you know? So who would you say your game is like, whether it be college or NBA? Who you model it out? <laughs> if it's a veteran, I would say John Wall. Because I say it's because he's quick. He's an athletic guard. He's got incredible IQ. He likes to pass. And that's part of his game. So I would say I play like that. But for a young player standpoint, I gotta go with John Morant though, cause his bounce—he he different. That's how my—that's how my bounce be. Your, your bounce just seemed like it came out of nowhere one day, like you know, <laughs> like I mean, <laughs> like for real, it was like one day, you know, you barely touching the backboard, you know, getting up trying to touch the rim. Then I look on IG and you windmilling. I'm like, hold up, bro. Hold up. <laughs> 
Hold up. Is that Keanu? Oh. This, 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 nah, this been chopped up. Let me check this out. This ain't real. So, so who are some of your favorite NBA players? Um, Kyrie Irving. I've been a fan of him since his rookie season. And LeBron, because, like, he's one of the GOATs. I think he's one of the GOATs. And then MJ and Kobe. You know, like, regular legend players. That's it. Okay. 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 All right. I see you. I see you well. I'm glad you said one of the goats. We'd have had a problem if you said the goat, but I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll go. I'll go with one of the goats. I'll go yeah. with that. All right, because you know I'm an MJ guy now. I make that no, you know. Mm -hmm. So, what is one of your most proudest moments in in basketball since you've been playing? How I had a step. I had a setback, and I came back even better, and hard, and came back even harder than ever than how I used to be. Mm. Mm. Good stuff. That's real good. Now, what would be your most disappointing moment? Uh, I didn't perform at a level I should have during the playoffs. Mm. Mm -hmm. Who, who y'all playing? We were playing. Um, he's been so long. You took an L. Yeah. Oh. Mm. But it was um, it was a Wake Forest. It was like a school. Oh, it was um. It's a school call. I forgot it. I, it'll come to me. It'll come okay. to me. Who was oh, on there? I think it was it was school in Cary. I forgot what it was called, though. Oh, it was Cary High School. Yeah, it was Cary High School. Okay. They were giving you buckets, huh? Okay. Nah. I think no, it was Green Hope. It was Green Hope High School. Green Hope High School. Which and one? Green Hope. Oh, Green Hope. Okay. It was a clutch play at the very end of the game that could have gotten us the lead. I fumbled. You fumbled the ball. Mm hmm Oh man. That's that a hurting feeling, man. It, it hurt. It hurt. That that hurt, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that you learn from your mistakes. You don't win them all, man. You mm -hmm. don't win them all. What's what's your career high? Career 20s? high? Twenties? Twenty, like twenty eight. Twenty eight? Okay. All right. All right. Now now when you transfer to uh, you know, four year school when you leave Guilford Tech, mm -hmm. what do you want to major? What what's your goal? Criminal law. No, criminal justice. That's what it is. Criminal justice. Okay. Mm -hmm. How you want to use that? I want to use that and get into, a, like, a home security career. Because mm. that, that's, that's a big that's a big thing right there. You really just got to know technology and then know the minds of, like, a criminal. And I've been doing that. Doing, I've been taking criminology and criminal law. And I got another class I'm going to be taking in next semester. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be good. Okay. All right. When you said you was... uh trying to think like a criminal. I'm like, you ain't practicing this. You no, like, you got to put yourself, oh. like, you got to <laughs> investigate. It's like, you got to right. investigate. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> so, so you one of those that watch, like, forensic files so you find out how you don't get caught. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you're not the only person that said that. Some of my friends said that. <laughs> right. I, I watch it all the time. That's why I watch it. But anyway, uh, so when it's time for you to make that decision, to whatever school you're going to end up going to, what are going to be some of the factors you want to look for in that school? Um, a school that welcomes me like a family, that doesn't look at me like any other, like different, because I'm coming from JUCO. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look at me differently. And if I feel like it's a good environment for me to be in and stay there for a good four years or possibly three or two, and that's how I'm going to get my decision. Okay, okay. Real quick, so outside of, you know, if somebody you look up to, whether it's basketball or not, mm -hmm. who would it be? It's um, a mentor I've been having for years since I was, like, in middle school. His name is Jelani. Okay. He's, like, a, he's a kid's person. Like, he's a mentor. He's been mentoring a lot of kids around Raleigh, and he lives in Florida now, so he's been doing it in Florida. You know, Florida is a really bad place. Right. But, like, he's been getting kids on track, getting them out of – trouble all that so yeah i look up to him like he's my big brother like i call him my big brother okay okay good stuff it's good stuff so before we leave two questions what do you do when you're not playing basketball <laughs> as i'm sleeping <laughs> playing the game or drawing drawing okay okay you in the stick figures i got you okay <laughs> <laughs> I, hold on. I, I think i got something for you right here hold on Okay, let's see. Let's see if this boy talent. Let's see what he's working with. Oh, no. I, I might have left it in Raleigh. Oh, so like I'm a Uzi fan, so I like I recreated one of his albums. Okay, I, I did this. 
it's backwards, but yeah, you, you see. okay. Oh, good. Yeah. So, like, so what, when when you did that was like, what were you tracing on? It was I got a stylus pen and I got my tablet and I went tracing. I was drawing. <laughs> <it over. laughs> I I walked you right into that one. You yeah, like, you got me on that one. You got me on that one. <laughs> he said, "Oh look, I want Tracy, man." <laughs> uh, tell me something people would would be surprised to know about you. Um, I may talk a lot, like I said, I'm talkative and like having fun. I'm really a quiet person. If really, I'm not around people that I'm really used to. Oh, okay. So you act shy and quiet, but you really loud and boisterous and disruptive. No, no, no. Got you, got you. <laughs> Before we go, what's the one thing you want people to take away this interview about Keon McCoy? Mm, I'm a humble dude. I like to work hard. And I just want to improve as a person as I get older. Good stuff. That is an excellent answer, man. Because as a young person, we all make mistakes, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, if I pulled up my resume and y'all saw my background, you wouldn't believe. It. Oh yeah. But, but, but you know, you know, those are the things you grow from. You know, and the key is to continue getting wiser, right? Get wiser and 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 learn from your mistakes. So that's excellent, excellent answer, man. Now before we go, you sell the show. We're not gonna let you go unless we let you go with a little game here. Find out how you think. We're gonna find out who you got. Who? You got first up in who you got. We're going to find out who you like. We're going to do ball players, right? We're going to mm -hmm. do ball players. So here we go. First one, who you got, Durant or Steph Curry? Who you got? Durant. Durant. Easily. 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 You just disrespect Curry. Okay. He's a, if you he plays like a point guard and having it at seven foot, that's, that's different. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Who you got? D'Angelo Russell, Trey Young. Trey Young. Trey Young. Okay. All right. All right. Who you got? Jamal Murray or Luca? <laughs> that's a that's hard. Tough. That's a tough one. Yeah. That's a tough one. I gotta go with Luca. But Ooh. Jamal, Jamal is Jamal's like that, but Luca, I say Luca. Because yeah. like he he over here getting 40 point triple doubles, 50 point triple doubles, like it's nothing. Yeah. They he both, fought they hard both. to play out. He fought hard to play out, but like Jamal, his team is getting there though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, that was a good, that was a strong one. All right, Jason Tatum or Devin Booker? Oh, Lord. <laughs> if we talking about, if we saying these two with team success, it's Tatum. Because okay. he fits in, he fits in perfect with how they've been doing. But I got to go with D-Book, though. I got to go with D-Book. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Well, here, here we go. Dame Luck or James Harden? <laughs> Jane, uh, not Jane, Damon Lillard, Damon Lillard. Oh, I was going to say, I was, yeah. I was, I was going to disagree with you. Yeah, no, nah, I got to go with Dame, man. Yeah, I go with Dame. I like, I like tough point guards. Mm -hmm. Last one, Kimball Walker or Kyrie? Yeah, I guess we already know, right? Yeah, yeah, you already. We, already, we already know. You already told us what it was. It's Kyrie. <laughs> it's Kyrie. It's no, no question. That young man said Kyrie. Mm -hmm. All right, well, my guy. You know, Kia, you know, I, I appreciate you, young man, for coming on. Uh, I watched you grow up. I'm proud of you. Continue, continue, continue. No matter how hard it gets, continue working towards your success. You're destined for greatness. You've already beat a lot of odds, and you've overcome a lot of things. So continue going on, my brother. <laughs> I be in touch with you all the time, you know. Yes, sir. I know you do. I appreciate you, man. We'll talk to you later. I appreciate you, too. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. My guy, Kia. And that's young man I appreciate. I've been watching for a long time and been knowing for a long time. Great kid, uh, Trey. Look, and uh, so we're going to move on. Man, that was a great conversation. I enjoyed every minute. But we're going to bring in Lil Mama. Lil Mama. We love her. Lil Mama. Some say Lil Mama. Zamaria. How's my girl? Good. Oh my! You know what? You you're growing up so fast. Good gracious! I mean, I wasn't. I was expecting the little adorable, the the little the little cutie that used to go. At, you was a pit bull now. 
You know, you know, you know, I keep footage now. You know that, right? You know, you know, let's see. Oh, where's that little girl? Where is that little girl? Oh, where'd she go? Look at that. Look at that. That's my first look at BZ Zamaria Jones. She barely could. I think you wore that jersey like a dress. It was so. <laughs> It was so big on you. I, you was just, you know, I was like, oh, look at her. I, is she okay? She gonna be. And then you went out there and you was he, he, he shaking people. I was like, oh, look at her. It's like, and that was the start of the Zamaria Get Me Recruited relationship that has lasted over the years and has continued as you got a little older and made your way up a little bit. See, you were a little bigger then. Your hair got a little bigger. You were starting to grow. <laughs> And you finally made it on up the ladder, you know. But we've been there the whole while. It's been great watching you grow, though. It's been great watching you grow. Some great memories over the years. And you know what you started doing that I really, oh, I guess I shouldn't say it, but I really like when you're on the floor and you kill somebody real good, you'll shake your head when you're walking back. <laughs> when you're going back, you're like, <laughs> it's like you're saying the nerve. <laughs> That's that's just me. I, I just like it. I don't know. I, I like I like kids that aren't conceited, but are confident. You know, those I love those because you play with a chip on your shoulder. I tell people when you when you go on the floor, it doesn't matter whether you're playing the the number one starter or the fifteenth person on the bench. You kill both of them the same. That's the way I feel. Nobody gets no mercy. All right, but for those that don't know you, won't you tell them who you are? Um, I'm Zamaria Jones. Um, I'm in ninth grade, class '24. Go to Nopee High School. Live in Greenville, North Carolina. I'm five. Play point guard position. Okay, okay. Now, how'd you get the nickname Little Mama? Where'd that come from? Little Mama. I, I mean, I was always little, like you could tell me. <laughs> right. I was always little, but then I started going to the dungeon, and then I got this nickname from Keith. My name, his name, Keith McGowan, is my coach. I mean, my trainer. Uh, he gave mm -hmm. me the nickname Little Mamba, which is Kobe Mamba Mentality. So, mm -hmm. got it, got it. I like it, I like it, I like it. So, describe yourself to us. I know you, but I want everybody. Who, who is Little Mamba? Um, I'm humble. I'm caring. I'm loving. I compete, no doubt. When I'm on the court, I'm gonna compete. I don't care who in front of me. I just I'm humble. You're humble. That. That you are, and I like that. You've always remained the same, you know. Uh, you know, I remember, and you're very competitive. You're very competitive. Don't y'all don't get this little smile and them dimples mixed up? She is very, very competitive. I remember uh, going to your middle school championship game. Remember that? And y'all lost. I think it was a close game. Was it? You was playing. Um, what's the name? What? Not 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 when y'all played Maya. Y'all played uh Kyla. Kyla, that's right. Kyla Silver. Y'all played in that game. It was a good game too. I remember that. Uh and and you cried like a baby. You was mad as fire. You was, I remember you remember that? I remember that. I, I took you around back and we had a little talk. You, you was you was hot, boy. Cause it was a, I mean, that was a middle school. It looked like all the Greenville was up in the gym, you know? That was a big game, man. So but now, who would you say you're closest to in your life? Um, I say my older sister, Shadow. Really? How's that relationship? It's great. I mean, we talk almost every day. I look up to her. She played basketball. I mean, she don't play basketball now, but she know the game. She, she knows. Mm. Now, now you've been uh, playing up ever since we seen you as that that little girl years ago. You've been. Even then, you was playing against older kids, you know. Um, has the, how has that been? Has that really helped you? You think helped you in any kind of way playing up? Yes, I feel like it boosts my confidence up. I mean, I'm playing older mm -hmm. people, so I got to get stronger mental and physical. Like, they help me grow a yeah. lot. Yeah, and and you can tell because you don't seem intimidated at all. You know, you like nah, they can get it. <laughs> And even even when you were still in middle school, we let you play in the uh, in the freshman event. And uh, 
you you know, not only did you hold your own, but you actually uh, you you put on a show there as well, and uh, that says a lot when you're able to play against that level of competition. In fact, I think that was on our visit to state. That looks like oh, yeah. state. That was the state, right? Um, uh, and there was hey, if they didn't know what was at that girls' showcase, tell them there was some killers in the building. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there was some real ballers in there. I mean, just this picture alone, you know, I mean, uh, with, with Malaysia and Ellie and uh, Mallory, and then there was, you know, uh, um, uh, um, um, all the, man, that was loaded. Malaya Jones from Georgia. And that was a good rivalry between the two of y'all. Yeah, that was a good. That had carried over from from the freshman event, I think. Y'all met up at the freshman event mm -hmm. and then end up playing again at the Hot 100 this last time. It was good. Oh, man, those were some good games, man. Y'all used to go at it, man. <laughs> and that was one of those times I saw you shake your head going back down like, nah, this this my home right here. You you in North Carolina hoop state. Yeah. <laughs> so so how how does playing in showcases like ours where you meet all that competition, how does that help you prepare for like high school or middle school or playing on the circuit, you know, just playing such tough competition? Because you've never backed down. Yeah. So it's like when you when you go to like these um showcases and stuff, it's competition. Like when I where I'm from, Greenville, I mean it's competition and dungeon. That's what that's where we at. Mm. Most likely, it's not really that much competition. So when I go out, it's, 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 places, it's people from everywhere. So it's Caban, so it's more competition. Yeah, yeah. No, and uh, we've enjoyed watching you play. Now Now you're running with FBC Family, FBC United. Uh, uh, how's that been going? It's been going good. I like it. It's it's a high-paced high, high -paced team. Okay. So I like okay. it. Okay, I haven't had a chance to see y'all play yet. Where where have you been playing at? Uh, we went to Texas, Alabama, Atlanta. Um, we basically just been traveling from from the three states right there. Okay, okay. And how is the season going? Y'all winning? Y'all taking some L's? What is it? We taking doves all day. Yeah. <laughs> really, really. Okay. And you putting up some numbers? You, you, you... For sure. For sure. Okay. All right. When y'all play again? Uh, I think our season over. Okay. The okay. Okay. Which means also we got the freshman event coming soon. So stand by. That announcement will be coming this week. I ain't tell nobody. You just, I'm just telling you. Uh, <laughs> like everybody ain't watching, right? Uh, so who would you say you you know your game most resembles, college or professional? Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving. Really? In what way? He's shifty. I'm shifty. He mm. can finish at the rim. I can finish at the rim. And he has a, a mid-range shot. He can pull up anywhere. Mm. And that's what you got. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So who's some of your favorite WNBA players? I have – I like Sue Bird. I like Skylar Diggins. And I like Maya Moore. Maya Moore. You know, yeah. Maya just got married. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was hoping she'd come back, but yeah. she, she didn't got married. I don't think she's coming back. I think it's over. Uh, <laughs> but so now you've been playing what seems like forever, and you're at a young age going ninth grade, and it <laughs> seems like you've been playing ball 10 years now, uh, which has probably been about 10 years. So because uh, you was playing, if I remember right, you was playing on, um, on your sister's AAU team as a – when you was when you was real young, like ten or something, right? Yeah, what you doing out there with the grown folks? <laughs> I'm there. Say <laughs> so anybody can get it, right? <laughs> you know, it's so funny because I remember going to one of Earl's tournaments out there, and you were running around one of them gyms out there, and you were so little, and you was playing on the little arcades and everything out there, but but then you got on the floor, and it was like what, like. <laughs> That little sweet little girl, she go out there and break ankles like crazy. Uh, so, what is one of your proudest moments in basketball? Um, I say, hey, I say when I play AAU game against 
the team called the All Southern Alabamas, I think. All Star Alabamas. Well, I got the um, the Southern I, Stars. Yeah, Southern Stars. I have I got like seven seconds left. I got the steal. I got the assist. My teammate scored and got an got an one. I think. And had two. Okay. Okay. So, okay. And by one. That sounds that sounds like so you're a little too old for this, but I bet you, but your dad remembers this. The steal by Dennis Johnson, and he makes the pass to Larry Bird. I think it was. I may have it wrong, but that was in the '80s, a long time ago. What is your most disappointing moment in basketball? Probably when I lost the middle school championship. Uh, yeah. Both of them. Both of them. Yeah, yeah. I think Maya beat you one year, right? Yes. And then Kyla beat you the other one. And you made it to the championship both times. Yes. Oh, man, you got your Charles Barkley on, Patrick Ewan. <laughs> but tell him, you, you get that last laugh, you're still in the game, right? <laughs> uh, and I see Maya, and she's always in here. Uh, all we got to do is give her an introduction to do, and we got her. She <laughs> not top ten. Look, any Bird still, that's right, DJ finished. That's right, that's exactly what it was. What's your career high? Uh, middle school, I, I or, think I had. Or, or overall, even in even in AAU, your overall career high. Uh, I think I'm over forty. I I think. Oh, you oh you done hit the forty mark? Yeah, in middle school. See, I'm yeah. a taking taking advantage of the little girls that can't play. <laughs> you say, hey, we say anybody can get it, right? You get it. You put that uniform on, you're about to get this 40 ball. <laughs> so when you go to college, what do you want to major? Uh, I want to be a pediatric nurse. Really? Why so? What What made you pick that? I mean, my mama is an acre provider, so she deals with kids almost every day, and I'm around it, so I mm. guess I'm feeling of it. Mm. Good stuff. Good stuff. I didn't know that. Okay. So now, I know you're young, but You've been on the radar for quite a while. A lot of people know who who you are. Even when you go to certain tournaments, they come to the sideline and watch you play. How does that feel at that age? Like, I got I got I got people looking at me, so I got to show off. So you got to show off. Now now now, do that make you uh make you uh take an extra jump shot here or there, or or because you know you got you got to. <laughs> So you like Kobe. Give me the ball. That's what they come for the show. <laughs> they come for the show, right? <laughs> now, even though you're young, though, you are uh, your recruitment. People are starting to take notes, right? I, I know that. So have you heard from any schools or anything? What's been going on? I have two offers from ECU and Virginia Union. Okay. And have college coaches calling me like South Carolina, Duke, UNC, and Ole Miss. Okay, okay. So we we uh yo now let me tell you this photo cracks me up because cause I'm like hold on hold on hold on hold on you found somebody on your side and you like nah I always wanted to post somebody up I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you is actually posting <laughs> yo. <Yeah>. This, <laughs> So, so do you ever take advantage of anybody smaller than you? For sure. If you little, you get in the paint. You're gonna get both. <laughs> <laughs> well, say if they're little, they get in the paint. Yeah. Mouse yeah. in the house. Yeah, you're better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, when it's time for you to make that college decision, what are gonna be some of the things that you you know keep in mind that will help you make that decision? Um, I say. It just don't have to be like an athletic like program. I need an academic program to be high, and I need it to have a program that that has my major. Mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, who is somebody you really look up to, like whether it's basketball or not? I say Kyrie. Or, I mean, Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. Why Kobe? He just had that mentality where you can't if you. you Whoever in front of me, you're not stopping me. I'm going right through you. I'm going to see right through you. You're nothing to me. Right, right. That's that, as they say, that mama mentality, right? Yes. That's one thing. That's one thing. You know, I like I like Kobe because he reminded me so much of MJ. He the, he the closest thing that I've ever seen 
to MJ. It was like almost <laughs> crazy to see him play because I guess if you look at it, Mike had that mentality. And once he developed that mentality, it was it was a wrap, man. It's hard to beat that. You know, because basketball is mostly mental. You heard you heard that before. And it's true, you know? So outside of basketball, what do you like to do? Uh I basically hang with my family a lot. If not, I'd be on the game. I hardly get on the game, but that's about it. Just hang with my family. When you say on the game, what game? Two K one. Two K. So are you any good at it? Yes, for sure. Uh, now, when you were talking about you playing, you sound a little more confident. Right now, you're looking like, well, you know, you know, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm straight. I'm straight. Now you. I'm, I'm alive. Okay, all right. <laughs> so, so tell us something that we would be surprised to know about Zamari. I mean, most people don't know I'm biracial. Really? You mean, yeah. They, they don't. When they see my mom, they act surprised. Like, oh, who's this? Really? Like, yeah. Really? So how do you handle that? How does that make you feel? I mean, I mean, I just tell them. I mean, I'm not really that light. I'm not really light skinned, so I'm. I kind of favor my dad a little bit in skin color. So I mean, it doesn't bother me. But like somebody like keep asking like why, 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 and I'm like, okay, I told you one time, stop asking. Mm. Like, mm. No, nah, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. I guess I, I wasn't thinking about that, but. I guess you would get asked if they didn't know who it was. Like, so do you ever feel uncomfortable or why are you asking me that or anything like that? Not really. No. Unless, unless you say in a way that's a, maybe you just ask, oh, but not, other than that, it's not, no. Mm -hmm. Have you had anyone to say it in an offensive way? Mm, no. Mm. Yeah, we're good. Um, I, I think, again, like I was telling Keon in the show before, uh, the interview before, it's good we talk about those things because somebody on here is going through the same thing. You know what I mean? And if, and if we're not comfortable talking about it, we'll never know what, you know, what the proper way and so forth. So I'm glad you brought it up. Now, what is the one thing you want people to take away from this interview about you? Um, I'm a killer. If I see you on the court, I'm going to kill you. I'm determined to this game. I'm dedicated. Everything I work for, everything I work for is gonna pay off. I don't. Nothing is given to me. I work for it. I love it. I love it. Now that I can say, I've watched you work, 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 and you're so competitive, and you work like I love it. I mean, because you're determined, and not just basketball, but in life. I, I want everyone on here to understand that if you work hard enough at whatever it is you want to do. And for you, it just happens to be basketball. But outside of basketball, if you really want it bad enough and you work at it hard enough and long enough, you'll get what you want. You just have to be persistent and consistent, right? No, I appreciate it. Now, before we let you go, we want to get your opinion on something. We want to know how you feel about some things, all right? We're not going to hit you with the, uh, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Because we've been seeing you since fifth grade. We know you're smarter than that. Who you got? We're going to do a version with you of who you got. Pop culture. All right. <laughs> who you got? Well, sun kiss, grape or orange? Which one? Great. Great. Hmm. Well, we differ on that. Okay. I'm an orange kind of guy. <laughs> YouTube or Netflix? Netflix. Really? You're not on YouTube watching the videos? Sometimes. Oh, me for me it's World Star. I, I watch World Star. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm actually addicted to World Star videos. Like if if I'm I'm doing work and doing spreadsheets and I said, Well, I'm gonna take a break, you know, around eleven o'clock at night. It'll be two o'clock in the morning and I'm still watching World Star videos. It's crazy. It's crazy. I got a problem. Here we go. Chick fil A or Chipotle. Chick fil A. Chick fil A. Okay, I agree with you on that one. I ain't with the Chipotle too much. Crocs or slides? Crocs. Crocs. Why? Because your mama wear Crocs? No, I wear Crocs. <laughs> she don't wear Crocs? She wear Crocs a little bit. A little bit? But you just, why? Are you more comfortable? <laughs> yes. I, I, I just don't like how Crocs, I mean, slides feel on my feet. Mm. Mm. I'm flat so it hurts the bottom of my feet. Walk you, flat, you said flat footed? Yeah. Oh, okay. You duck. Okay. All right. Here we, <laughs> here we go. Apple 
Apple or Android? Apple. I'm with you. I, I don't know what it means, but I've heard like my daughter and them say, mm, they act like they're Android people. Like, I don't know what that means. I, I, <laughs> I agree with her because I'm sure they're different. It, why would you want Android? And all the people on here are going to be like, what? But I just don't understand that once you go Apple, why go back? Here we go. Which one you prefer, history or math? Math. Really? What's your grades in math? Uh, I'm good. I'm taking math two right now. Okay. All right. In, in ninth grade, you're taking math two. So I'm assuming because I haven't been in school for a long time where we only had basic math, algebra, and geometry. Those were the only three we had. Y'all got like 15 different maps. All right. So, <laughs> so I don't know. But I'm assuming math, too, is real good. Right? Okay. All right. What we got? Spotify or Apple Music? Apple Music. Not even close, right? Not even close. Not Who does Spotify? Come on. Who <laughs> does? <laughs> All right, last one. Snapchat or TikTok? TikTok. Really? So, so see, this is why I never, well, let me change that. I did get a Get Me Recruited Snapchat and tried to get somebody hired on to do it because I could never get into it. But I also knew you young folks don't stay with nothing long enough, and it wouldn't last that long. And now you're doing TikTok. By the time I learn how to do it, it'll be something else. So I don't even mess with it. <laughs> My girls, Amaria, been with us for a long time, watching you grow up from the little girl in fifth grade that put the jersey dress on, and now she's uh, out here breaking ankles. I'm telling y'all, if you want to see some good basketball, watch this young lady in high school. It's going to be a show. Um, the, the East is going to have a new beast out there. Uh, <laughs> right? That's it. The, the East is going to have a new beast. I can't wait to watch you. So uh, stay in touch with us. You already know anything we can do for you. You already know my number, and I appreciate you so much. You and your family, you got a great family behind you, and I really look forward to seeing you at our next showcase. Okay, thank you. Right, thank you. All right. Bye. Oh, that was great. Uh, we had two great guests on tonight. I'm glad, well, I'm, I'm glad we could only do too, because they were so good. I wouldn't have wanted to do just our normal short ones. So that was real good. It, both of those uh, are special kids to me because I've been watching them since they were young, 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 very young kids. And now watching them grow up and, and, and you know, live out their dreams and, and be as good as they are has always been uh, one of the joys of what I do. So I really appreciate them coming on. Um, Maria is a killer. And if you haven't seen her play, boy, you're in for a treat. She's really, she's really like that. I'm telling you, she's really like that. Um, really like that. And I'm sure she'll be coming to our freshman event. We let her come last year as an eighth grader, and she, she made first team. I mean, that's just how good she is. Um, to do that with the freshmen that we have come in, it's really hard to do because we get girls from all over to come to our freshman event. And uh, I'm looking forward to it again this year. So stay tuned. Um, this week, we'll be announcing some, some new, uh, new dates, uh, events.